lost their farms and were forced to take whatever job. Yeah. Uh, in the labor field, they call that the race to the bottom. Mm -hmm. right? So we're not interested in making corporations richer at our expense. I think the whole point of Mary's uh, presentation was that the people aren't really the beneficiaries of uh, trade agreements like this. No. All right, we're going to stray a little bit from the uh, program for one second. Earlier, Adam said that contacting your elected officials was um, paramount to success. And our current congressman, Congressman Grimm, as Adam pointed out, has always shown that he was opposed to uh, Fast Track and um, the TPP. He sent a letter tonight, I don't know if everyone saw it, but I just, I just want to share it with you real quick. It says, Dear friends, I stood shoulder to shoulder with many of you in the snow this past January on the steps of City Hall to show solidarity with the middle class working families of Staten Island and Brooklyn. I've been proud to lead the charge in Congress opposing the Trans-Pacific Partnership Free Trade Agreement. Since that snowy day in January, I've been successful in working with my colleagues in the majority in preventing a floor vote from happening on the TPP FTA. This legislation is a job killer that fails to provide that much needed transparency, accountability, and oversight that is needed for a trade agreement of this size. Even worse, TPP opens the door to China to join the alliance of 11 countries in the current pact. The same China that routinely manipulates its currency and steals American jobs away from our communities every single day. As President Obama has previously pro proclaimed, it is time for a new day in trade. Unfortunately, that day is not today. And this certainly won't happen if we authorize TPP. All we will be left with is an expanding trade deficit leading to a loss of American jobs. At a time of historically high unemployment, we cannot afford to go down this path. We need to keep the pressure on and continue our opposition to the TPP FTA. I am proud to be one of the most pro-labor members of the majority party in Congress and will continue every day to fight against the TPP and make sure that it will never see the light of day. I come from a labor household. My father worked three jobs to provide food on the table and a roof over his family's heads. And as your congressman, I pledge to you that I will never forget you, and I will always fight to protect the middle class working families of Staten Island and Brooklyn. Rest assured, I've got your back. Sincerely, Michael Grimm. Okay, so in the spirit of fairness, uh, tonight, um, Congressman Grimm's opponent in the upcoming election is here, and uh, the Middle Class Action Project is not by any means a partisan um, group. We don't really take a side. We think that workers standing together is as partisan as we'd like to be. But in the spirit of fairness, uh, we'd like to give Dominic Recchia a few minutes to share his thoughts. Thank you, it's a pleasure to be here. I, I just want to say a few words. Uh, first of all, I am against the TPP. I stand with everyone in this room, I stand with labor. Now, in my 12 years being in the city council, I was the finance chairman, I fought hard for labor, uh, and I paid the price several times, you know. I carried one of the uh, transparency bills in city council for the building trades, and uh, I have, I think, every affordable housing developer in New York City, they wanted to kill me for passing this bill. But it's all about transparency. What people don't understand, that the time has come that you have to pay people fair wages. Okay, you have to treat people like human beings. And that's what this is all about, okay? This TPP hurts us in America. It hurts the workers, it is bad. These trade agreements have to stop. We need to bring back jobs in the United States, manufacturing jobs here in the US, made in the US. That's what we need to do. We have to work with labor, not against labor. Labor is not against corporations. Labor wants to work with corporations and together, working together, we will make things happen in this country and move it in the right direction. Now, uh, we heard Michael Grimm sent this letter. It was very nice, it was a good letter. But you know what? He says one thing here in the district, goes to Washington, says another. You know what, go on to the floor and speak out that you're against TPP and say enough is enough and let's kill this once and for all. Because yeah. that's what I'm going to do when I'm the Congress member. 
know? You need someone that's 100% with labor, not 44% with labor rating. And that's what this is all about. You know what? Let's pass a jobs bill. Let's create a jobs bill, and in that jobs bill, we have to retrain, and jobs bill is going to help labor, help companies. Let's reward companies for manufacturing in the U.S., bringing back jobs to our local economy, hiring the residents that live here in the United States, putting them back to work for good wages, prevailing wages, living wages. All right, not that the corporations, major corporations making all this money, they forget about all the people that work hard. And that's what we have to do, and that's what I'm gonna do as the next congressman. I just wanted to stop here because I'm against the TPP. I am against this fast tracking, all right? We need to open the books, be open and transparent. Don't leave Congress out of the debate. Fast tracking goes right through Congress. I'm your representative. I wanna be your representative, I want you to tell me what you have to say. I wanna be your voice down in Washington. And be a voice and go on to the floor and speak out. And say what I say here in the district, what I'm gonna say in Washington. And that what the time has come, and that's what I want to do. I wanna reach out to everyone. I wanna just stop by here and just say you have my support. I support you and the labor movement against the TPP. I will be out there with you. Let's move this in the right direction and let's create jobs, and let's stop selling jobs, outsourcing all of these jobs, once and for all. Thank you.